Hey everyone, Ron Holloway here again. Uh, Mental Health Awareness Month. Trying to fight stigmas by succeeding in living a great life and helping others do the same. And also helping those who are in the crucible. And a crucible is something that changes you and strengthens you and you get to the other side. You're a whole different creature. So if you're in the crucible, keep going. Keep climbing. Keep doing what you got to do. Now, I talked in the last episode about a book called Deep Survival. It's very important to me. It influenced the things I learned. I built my recovery based on it, uh, the principles of and characteristics that survivors had, as opposed to those who perished in dangerous situations. And I was in a dangerous situation, uh, having just had a break. I broke so badly that I went blind. I still have brain damage. Uh, so, yeah, I might be high functioning. But I've earned the ability to be so. Part of that journey was picking up things along the way. I needed knowledge. I needed to learn how to build tools and also drawing from Sun Tzu's The Art of War. One of the basic dictums, you don't know yourself, you don't know your adversary, you're screwed. You only know yourself, you don't know your adversary, you got a 50-50 chance. Conversely, only know the adversary, don't know yourself. Eh. But if you know yourself and you know your adversary, you have success in a thousand battles under heaven and earth. So I'm going to share one of the books with you. One of my adversaries was anxiety. And I'll say it was essentially an imagination of a threat or subconsciously picking up on a threat and just triggering my body's fight or flight. I had to learn to control that to keep from what's the discomfort in my body from trumping my ability to reason. One of those books that helped me know my adversary is this right here, Extreme Fear by Jeff Weiss, uh, The Science of Your Mind in Danger. Highly recommend it if you deal with anxiety. I recommend it to everyone because we all get hit. But what's really cool is it normalizes some of it. But also, if you can name it, you can tame it. So let's say I get triggered, right? All right, real quick. I reframe it. One, great training for something that's real. Okay? Two, name it. This is a change in my body. Doesn't have to trump my reason. Good. Okay, what's going on in my body? All right, my digestive system is shutting down. That's why I have the sick feeling in my stomach. I'm getting a little tightness in the chest. My body is getting actually stronger. The shakes and the sick feeling, that's cortisol and adrenaline priming me either to flee or fight. That's all it is. Let's, let's just name it and tame it. It's a physiological change. And if you control it and you're used to it and it doesn't freak you out, you can maintain your ability to reason and turn it off. This book does that. It taught me what my body does. It taught me about the cognitive distortions that happen when you feel threatened so that I can name them, such as catastrophizing, black and white thinking, tunnel vision, all that stuff. So if it happens, check. Tunnel vision. All right. Get perspective. Catastrophizing. Check. That's normal. It's a cognitive distortion. Bring it back. And so by doing that, I, I don't have panic attacks mentally, though I do have them physically. And that helps me make good decisions because there are times when suddenly everyone gets hit. And they've never trained to overcome fear, the physiology. And when that happens, I'm cool as a fan. I'm the one they listen to because I'm actually calm. So there's a huge benefit in it. Uh, so check out this book, Extreme Fear, Jeff Weiss. And then also, you can support me, likes, comments. Go to my social media on my website, arrowcoachingllc.com. And I guarantee you it'll be a great return on your investment if you pick up my book, Anti-Fragility, 10 Principles for Life, Preparing Crisis into Opportunity. All right, guys, thanks. 
If you're in the crucible, keep going. And remember, it's good training for something worse.